Thailand. Thailand. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Well, here's your question. I hear that while preparing for Miss Universe, you were taught to do something called a duck walk. Uh, what is it, and does it involve any quacking? <laughs> no, it doesn't involve any quacking. But what it is is, as an athlete, I needed to learn how to do more hip swings so that I can improve my catwalk. And so what it is is you are on high heels, I'm going to kind of mini demonstrate here. And then you go down and you pop your hips one way and the other. So on the, so the reason why it's called a duck walk is because if you walk like that, it kind of resembles looking at a duck like wagging its tail, its butt. So, but no, you don't need to, to quack when you walk. In, in America, that has nothing to do with a duck at all. <laughs> nothing. Thank you, Thailand. <laughs> Everybody show some love for our first five semi-finalists tonight. Coming up next, we introduce the contestants from the Europe region, and then five of them, one step closer to the title. And we'll do the same for the Americas right here. This I'm just an ordinary person who believes that ordinary people can do extraordinary things when they believe in themselves, have courage to take that first step, and to never give up in the face of adversity. I'm standing here today because I followed my heart and dared to live my dreams. Thank you. Albania. Thailand. As a kid, I had a little nickname. Um, I was a little doctor because I loved helping other people. After I won Miss Universe Thailand, that's when I realized that, hey, there's actually a different path, a different way that I can help other people. I am able to help flood victims to the We Are One, my art project. It gave me an opportunity to help people on a larger scale. Just seeing them happy, just seeing them like give me back a smile, that for me is my reward. Thailand. Thailand. I feel powerful when I know that my journey is able to help inspire and motivate as well as encourage other people to take care of their body and to feel happy being healthy. Mexico. one of my favorite colors, which is red, and I really love red because it signifies the color of love. Mexico, Thailand. Thailand, you're next. Here's your question. Government surveillance is used to keep many nations and their people safe, but some believe this invades our right to privacy. What is more important to you, privacy or security? I believe that every country has their own uh, government policy to keep us safe and I believe that it shouldn't cross the line going into our privacy because we have a right to privacy but security is also very important so in order to live in a better society we should also have the government look into a line a middle ground as to where they can come and live together with society. Sure. 
Thank you, Thailand. Colombia, come on over. Step closer to the title. We'll find out after this break.